people committing crime in this country they look so decent because they have no beard and probably they are on low cut mm -hmm. i'm not a criminal i only promote healthy hair and beard growth we take it to the next level it's a fashion sense as a matter of fact if you go abroad bearded men are being celebrated and it's a movement for men it's about safe key being able to groom healthy hair and beard beard is a lot of responsibility so bearded men should be accorded their respect give me my flowers Everyone in Daniel, it's a very beautiful day and today I'm with a friend and a brother, uh, Dimelo, aka God of Beards. He's a very nice person, I've known him for like forever. We went to the same nursery school, the same <laughs> secondary school. The only way we got separated was our university times and after that we actually got some time to be close again and he's a very influential businessman and also a very prominent TikToker and I'm very privileged to have him here with us. And today we are going to talk about one thing that has kept people talking about him. <laughs> which you guys can already see in this video. What do you think of him when you see this video? Beard. So today, <laughs> today we are going to talk about looks <laughs> and also his business. Because actually his looks is his business. So before we get started, give me a minute. Can you introduce yourself to All right. my viewers? And thank you. Thank you. I appreciate the opportunity to be here on the show. Thank you. I'm Dimelo Beard by name. The brand owner of Dimelo Beard Essential. As you can see, it's all about hair and beard. <laughs> all right. So uh, thank you very much for that brief uh, introduction. I have a lot of questions here. I think most of I the know, questions looks... you're about to ask, I've heard them before. <laughs> Maybe, maybe, maybe not. Okay. But there's only one way to find out. Let's see. <laughs> Let's proceed. All right. So the first thing I want you to, you know, tell us is, how long have you been in business? How long have you been a businessman? Okay. I started um, the brand in my university days. Actually, I, I got the motivation to grow beard so I would be able to intimidate people that wanted to intimidate me. <laughs> and I succeeded in even intimidating my lecturers. <laughs> That ended me in the HOD's office, actually. <laughs> <laughs> so it started in the university days. So the brand is seven years old. Wow. And we are going seven years and counting. Yes. All right, that's beautiful. So let's move to the next question. What motivated? Oh, you've already told us that the motivation was to intimidate. So that kills you. Are already killed two bits. <laughs> <laughs> <one stone. laughs> so what do people think of you? with beard and hair like this, especially the elderly in Akwaibo. This is because, um, you know, uh, Akwaibo is unlike some other places. Don't get me wrong, other places can be like this too. I've not been there, but I've been privileged to be to some places in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. And um, out of where I've been to, I realized that Akwaibo parents and um the elderly in total let me let me not say let me just not limit it to your parents alone like the elderly people in aquarium when they see you look like this you know they 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 have this kind of mentality about the kind of person that you are so how do you cope with you know the elderly how do they see you what do they think of you okay are we judging the book by the cover the truth is they actually will judge you by the cover okay so, how what what do, do you have any experiences or have they said anything before like has any person you talking know? about the elderly yeah. my family have accepted me the way i am mm -hmm. they have accepted my uh, my services the services i provide mm -hmm. which involves fixing patchy beard mm -hmm. tattered beard mm -hmm. a beard with uh, stunted growth even baldness i'm solving problem here and when we communicate, you will get to understand my values, right? I have services I offer and they come with a price. That is how I earn a living. So until you talk with me and understand the value, the services I render, you will end up in wrong profiling me, you get. So that is why we shouldn't judge the book by the cover. If you look around, people causing mayhem, calamities, in the country they don't keep beard they don't grow hair you know they look very decent but they're the one causing problem um i encounter a lot of problems maybe going to offices but the good thing is the moment i introduce myself 
you know, every way is soft. Everybody accepts me for who I am and for the services I render. Traveling, I would meet police on the checkpoint, but once I introduce myself, show them proof of what I do, definitely I'm free to go my way. All right, uh, since you have brought in police something in here, uh, I'm going to jump into a question because I have a question like that. Okay. So I'm just going to get past some questions. We'll actually go back to them. But okay. you know, since it's related to what we have already, I quickly want to rush there and fix it so that we will not have to be, you know, going back and forth as uh, to with things that does not match. Okay. So, have you ever been arrested? At this point, I think <laughs> every young guy in this country, one way or the other, have been arrested by the police. <laughs> Should be told. I remember being arrested once. Definitely. So I always have a lot to explain to them. <laughs> and trust me, the moment I can prove, okay, see what I'm doing. That's the reason I'm keeping this hair. I'm I'm a model. You understand? Yeah. I use this hair and the beard to promote my brand. So the moment I relate this information with them, last last find source something. <laughs> so so why why were you arrested in the first place? Okay, it was on a stop and check. So they saw my beard, my hair, everything, with the way I was dressed, so they thought I was a suspect. So that brings us to three important questions that I have here. Okay. Because you just mentioned the suspect. Are you a cultist? No. Do I look like one? <laughs> <laughs> well, do you push drugs? Never. Are you a criminal? No. I have no criminal charge in this country. <laughs> Do you know why I'm asking this question? Okay. Because I want to let the public know that because because someone looks like this doesn't mean that they are involved in all kind of treacherous things. You understand? Because there's this uh, ideology people have. They feel like when you keep beards, when you keep hairs, that that's because you are useless, you are worthless, probably you are a cultist or you are into doing bad things. I just want people to understand that it's a matter of preference, it's choice. Someone can decide to keep the hair, can decide to cut it. It is not a crime to keep beard. It's not a crime to keep your hair. It's a choice. Someone can choose to. He can choose not to. He can choose to cut his beard tomorrow. He can choose to keep it. Whatsoever he chooses to do with his body is his body. So you do not have any right to profile someone as a criminal, as a drug pusher, as a cultist because of how you perceive or what you see them do or how you see them keep their hair or anything. But let's just move to the next question. What would you advise a black man who wants to keep beard and hair like you do? Because the problems we have is in the black community. Because in the States, I don't think this happens. Who, I, made, who, I made, see... who made the laws against growing beard and hair? Because if I check biblically, the Bible says we should not line our hair or cut our beard. So who made this law against the bearded brothers, against men? who choose safe care to groom their hair. Who made this law? Now, I'm not working for anybody. I'm working for myself, so I make the laws here for myself. And my laws does not discriminate me. Mm -hmm. I'm not a criminal. I only promote healthy hair and beard growth. We take it to the next level. It's a fashion sense. As a matter of fact, if you go abroad, bearded men are being celebrated. And it's a movement for men. It's about safe, safe care. Being able to groom healthy hair and beard is a lot of responsibility. So bearded men should be accorded their respect. Give me my flowers. <laughs> True be told, it takes a lot of nurturing and consistency to discipline. Grow a beard like this. Discipline. Yeah, and discipline. Not just and that, being able to overlook what people think yeah. or would say about you. you. Understand? Because if you look, like I said before, people committing crime in this country, they look so decent because they have no beard and probably they are on low cut. So let's move to the next question. Do you have a girlfriend? Sure, I do. So, is your girlfriend comfortable with your bearded look? Yes, she supports the husband. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's very, very important to have a supporting partner. That's yes, wonderful. She does. So, I want to ask you a very strong question. Okay. Very strong question. How strong is it? <laughs> Too strong. <laughs> what if you want to marry your girlfriend? Uh, first of all, are you guys serious? Is it a really serious relationship or is it someone just... If like it is not like serious, you? count me out. Wonderful. That's what I talked about. People being consistent, people being disciplined. These are focused men. Have you heard, have you heard these lines that a man that has so much time to groom his hair and be, has the patience to take so much nonsense? <laughs> A man that has the time to groom his hair and beard has the patience to take bullshit from his partner. 
<laughs> so the question is, what if you want to marry? Okay. And your in-law insists you shave your beard. Would okay. You? Oh, well, that's a hard one. I know people will say I should listen to the elders, but the wedding will be funded <laughs> from the money I make from this brand. <laughs> so if, if. If they appreciate me as their in-law, they should appreciate the business too. <laughs> they should appreciate the business. I won't cut the hair. Because so after you... the marriage, eh? mm -hmm. the brand, everything, the hustle goes on. Why do I have to cut when the brand is taking care of me? So you would let go of the beautiful I represent because of your beard. And they will talk to the parents. They are accepting <laughs> the chair. How does your family see you wayward or responsible or are they in full support of your husband? Uh, my whole family is in support of my hustle. As a matter of fact, this brand has branches, right? It, I'm trying to make it more like a family business, you know. Right now, my sister is part of the brand and she makes week, right? Wonderful. She's earning for herself and she's doing well. So the family is in support of the brand. All right. So uh, is your beard natural or as a result of the product you sell? My beard is a is is is, is a well groomed beard with uh, premium products. We have varieties of products. Um, beard grooming, starting from washing, conditioning, and regular maintenance, a lot varieties of products is involved. So here, I make the beard cream myself, the shampoo, the conditioner, the marks, every other items I get it from the market from the brand themselves, direct from the brand and what trusted brand? product. Yes, yeah, so I can't just mention a brand name now, except you come for a recommendation because I'm not promoting any for now. So, uh, are you saying that if I want to grow beard like you do, that I actually need to get other brand, other products apart from just getting you will come for, cream? You will come for you will come product. for a recommendation. From there, I will know what will work for you better, and we'll work on that. All right. That's uh, yeah, that's that's a nice one. So the question is, the next question is. Are people scared of your beard? Are you scared? Of course I'm not. I've known you for more than 20 something years now. So okay. I have to have seen you beardless. I've seen you with beard. I think where I live, they have seen me with beard. They've equally seen me without beard. So they <laughs> know and understand me for who I am, not because of the beard. Um have you have you ever thought of shaving your beard? Okay. It's one of my rituals. I shave my beard every two years, two years on the dot. My beard runs in a two-year cycle. So one of the reasons I do that is to motivate the upcoming beard lovers. You know, they should not despise the little beginning when it starts growing out patchy and it's not well arranged. Um, for the record, I grew an untamed beard. I don't line my beard. That is my culture. When you say ritual, is it that if you don't do it, your beard will not grow? Because ritual is a strong word. Ritual is a sacrifice. Wonderful. So every two years, I sacrifice my beard to motivate others to start the process That's because right. most people are not comfortable with themselves in the growing process because it looks rough so that's why i bring myself down we start the process together we grow together so how do i make this my beard join i've been trying to make it join that is why you need to come for consultation <laughs> you need to consult the oracle of beard <laughs> the next question is okay what if you are offered three million to shave your beard and keep it for three months, like shave it consistently for three months. Would you do that? To shave my beard consistently for three months? Yeah. I would take the offer for the brand. <laughs> See, the thing is, um, it's not a do or die affair. It's just a passion for the brand to grow beard, to motivate young men, even the older ones that wish to stand out, that they can achieve it without the society profiling them as a certain set of humans, which they are not. I, I'm a motivation to others that wish to join the process. So, are you saying that if your girlfriend's family, remember the question I asked before, girlfriend's family really want you to shave your beard and give you 30 million? Man, you shave it. Is that what you're saying? Because I talked about if your girl, if your girlfriend's family say you have to shave your beard before you get married to your daughter, like you say you will not shave. So what if they offer you like a three million naira price? Would you do that? In other words, you're saying if they give you three million because you just accepted that if you have been offered three million naira, you would shave your beard. Three million naira is a revenue to the brand. Don't forget <laughs> <laughs> to shave my beard without bringing not uh, anything to the table is unaccepted. So they have there to must be a offer a, a revenue to the brand. Yes. That is a wonderful question. Okay. Uh, how often do you visit the salon because your beard looks untamed? Is it is, oh. it, is it is it is it 
is it like a ritual like is um it a, a i'm not i'm not a fan of a clean shave sharp lining i'm just like peter deche i go on time wonderful yes so, so is, that's my culture is peter deche like your role model like someone you want to you know look like or was he your motivation you, or someone you like model if you are trying to model from you know we all have our preferences shaving comes with a lot of consequences which includes itching bones and certain reaction on the skin so trust me if i use the blade of my skin every every now and then there will be more consequences for me so being in this line of business for years i have been able to determine what works for me so everybody needs to know what works for them so that brings us to the end of this session i don't know if he has something to say but after this i'm gonna give him up on this to say something but this is to show you guys that you cannot judge people based on their looks somebody can look a bearded and be a nice person someone can look bearded and be a very wonderful person someone can be bearded and very responsible it's not about how the person looks it's about personality i can shave my beard and be a psychopath I can be anything with my beard shave. It's not about you keeping beards or head. It's about who you really are. So I want to advise every person, young and old, forget about people keeping beards. Focus on the real morals. Are these people really nice people? Are they good people? That's the most important thing. Not about beards. You can't judge everybody keeping beards. You can't you know, profile everyone keeping beards or keeping hair or making hair that they are doing drugs or they are criminals or they are thieves or anything. They're not. They could be really responsible people. It's about preference. Anybody can choose to be who they want to be. They can choose to look anyhow they want to look. So please, let's stop this. Let's stop thinking about people. Because I have a friend who is a photographer. He has had issues in school because of his hair. And it's very, very annoying. Yes. So yeah. get to know the person first before you profile a person. So I don't know if you have anything you want to add to that. Uh, um, for me, I, I encourage everyone to embrace growth because I wasn't born with this. <laughs> it is growth, you can say. So I embrace it. And I have some biblical backups for those wondering if growing beard is legal or is against the law, which I do not know who said the laws. Um, from my Bible here, Leviticus 19.27, in James Version, it says, Ye shall not round the corners of your heads, that's your head, neither shall thou make the corners of your beard. Another one says, 2 Samuel 10.5, When all this was reported to David, he sent someone to meet them, for they were seriously humiliated. The king told them, Stay in Jericho until your beards grow out, only then come back. Without the beard, as a man you'll be addressed as a princess this is a symbol of masculinity this is more like a makeup for men which has been underrated every lady these days makes up they make their hair apply some foundation on their face this is the natural one given to us by god so we should appreciate it and i encourage i encourage the bearded brothers to always dress well because they say you are dressed the way you dress you can't grow a you monster beard and you are putting on a rack jeans appearing like a mad person you have to look decent as a gentleman so always dress your best and look sharp take care of your hair take care of your beard because if you abandon them you look at that and you end up in a place you never thought because people would think otherwise of you so always stay clean do you scratch when you're thinking times i'll be caught in thoughts and all i do is stroke my beard <laughs> So I would know what you, I would like to know what you do when you're thinking. At least I scratch this small one. <laughs> <laughs> Every man needs a beard to scratch. It's very important. Definitely. It's very important. So let's not let's let's not abolish the beard culture. I like beards. I like keeping beards. I and um, I would encourage I would encourage anyone who wants to keep beard. It's not a bad thing and i would encourage encourage every father every mother out there not to see their children as wayward or irresponsible if they choose to keep their beards because it's a matter of choice it doesn't change anything the beard. it doesn't make your child dumb it doesn't make your child useless it's just how they want to look and for the records proper beard grooming takes a lot of money it's very expensive getting professional products 
so bearded guys should not be seen as less they should be given their respect we are doing a whole lot to keep up with the culture we are trying to bring back a culture that has been forgotten because back then in history real men warriors identified by the beard so that's what this is a movement all right everyone thank you for this uh, interesting episode it's a very nice time to have you guys do not forget to subscribe and follow us on all social media platforms as we keep bringing on very educative and creative guests thank you for your time and peace out.